I'm here to discuss a new topic called password reset process. So password reset process is a separate process um, invented by ServiceNow. So, um, so this using this password reset process, reset process you can reset your password um, by self-service mode. Okay. So let me go to um, the technical details how we can do and what are the process we need to be take care at that time at that password reset process. So if you see and the password reset um, inside this small uh, divider uh, you have all the configuration model okay so what are the configuration uh, you want to take care okay so first and very important point is the process okay so in the process module it defines that for what process which things need to be ap applicable okay for example, these all are the test data or the demo data created by uh, service now. But in your case, you can definitely uh, create complex AD activity or whatever you need to uh, perform. Okay. So let's see how these things are uh, defined or configured here so that you can, if you want, you can configure for Active Directory or any of these complex, such complex um, uh, password reset process. Okay. First of all, you have to define for which process or which things um, your process uh, needs to be take care. Okay, so if I show match with the active true, there are few process which is pre-activated by default into that service now. Okay, let's show match quickly. So I can see um, two process are predefined activated into my system. Okay, so let's open one by one. So default self-service and employee self-service for the local. So two things are by default activated. Okay. So if you see, uh, this is the default self-service activated. Okay. So this password process um, is um, help you to reset your default password. Okay. So if you see, first of all, you have the service now or if you want to create your default, your new password process, you can pa um, create your own process for complexity but um, for the time being I'm talking about how that is configured into service now so that you can create your own one okay so first of all uh, if you see this is name uh, all these details are there uh, I'll talk about that credential store later but there are two checkbox one is the che password change and the password reset password change is for um, if you want to change the password a password reset if you want to reset your password two options is available okay now uh, in this password details details you have to check that uh, public access checkbox true so that it can be accessible to the publicly and then this whatever url uh, suffix you will put that that url will be populated here in that public url okay and then if you want to show the captcha code on onto that um, url you can just select that captcha and save that okay there are advanced um, options available here you can put that uh, macro and all those stuffs but these are the of the of the all the are the optional okay and second thing is that you can see that uh, the verification process okay after pro after process there is a verification step okay so two things will be happen first you have to be um, you have to give your current your uh, details like your user id and then you have to go through the verification you have to verify yourself there are a lot of verification steps is available uh, let's talk about um, if i go to the verification step you can see uh, i think few verification are available in out of box okay you can use those verification let's talk about those things so you can see um, few verification steps are like created here okay like nine verification steps for SMS verification. You can add the SMS verification. So what will be happen once you uh, put your um, password, it will um, send a SMS and you have to provide the SMS credential. And then after you provide the SMS um, OTP or something like that, you will be able to verify. All these verification steps are here. Um, verification process are here. Okay. So if I talk about this process, this process is added to the personal data um, enter email address. So what you have to do if you try this one, you have to be put your email addresses here. And once you submit that, it will go to that uh, your email address. The link will be go to your email address. 
and from there only you can reset your password okay but most of that uh, most of the application is used um, that question and answer verification or the sms verification okay you can see this is the employee self service uh, that um, url suffix is s in so what will be happens if we click here first of all it will show that i don't have enrolled my um, i don't i don't have i don't edit my um I, I basically i don't enroll myself so let me change that identification type so what you are seeing that id email address it is asking for my email address okay so this is a dummy in a dummy instance i have not put my email address so let me change to that my uh, email address to something else call user id let me put that username right and so once i save that i should be able to just put the username and then my enrollment will be started so in this doubt of box model i have not enrolled anything so once i put you my username it will uh, let me refresh this page once more time so you can see that url is the asn which is nothing but this is the url so now i change that in identification type from email address to the username so it should be ask me that um username instead of email address okay so now it's asking me the email address uh, um, username so i'm putting that my username and clicking that i am not a robot and click the next so it will fail because i have not enrolled my uh, process okay so that in that case i have to be enrolled my process okay so what are the things i have to be enrolled if i scroll down you can see the, the verification step is two verification step one is the sms and another is the question answer question answer is the security question and answer right so that is a question answer um, verification process i'll just turn um, this mandatory false so that question and answer sms verification will be non mandatory and question answer is the mandatory i have to have full put all this verification okay so how the user will be do those things so these things should be configured as a admin whoever is part of this admin or whoever is want to configure for the um, that um, uh, password uh, enrollment process they have to be as admin you have to configure those okay so first thing is that you have to be uh, configured the process inside the process you have to be configured the verification steps okay once your verification steps are configured right so so in inside that process you can set the verification multiple verification i just sms verification i just make that mandatory false so that user will be able to uh, just put their question and answer and they will be verify their self okay and then the last thing is that they will be able to reset their password you can see the three steps identification in the identification we put that username and password once i uh, yeah, sorry username identification once they put the username and captcha code they will go to the verification step and verification step what they will go the question answer verification step okay and the question answer after the question answer verification step, they will go to the reset password okay that is the policy okay so 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 two things pass process have that verification okay so that is the first point uh, you can see the process have the verification call question and question answer and the sms verification second important thing is the credential store okay so what is the credential store credential store is that um, the one of the table which is service na use where you you um, define where it is defined that how um, how it will be like um i'll just quickly show you so in the password reset credential store and in that inside the type you can see there is a one checkbox called use flow use flow is the um, the one of the checkbox if you check that you are will be able to select that multiple flow designer okay so if you are creating a new new um credential like new process and new credential store you can select the, you can create your own flow and attach here okay or else if you want to use that um, workflow you have that ability to select the workflow okay this is the old one older version where this workflow are used but as a new tradition everyone is using the flow so you have a two option 
okay if you want to use the flow designer you can use the flow designer if you want to uh, use the workflow you can use the workflow through this workflow or through this flow your password reset process will be work okay so understand one thing the first is thing is the process inside the process you have a credential store and in the credential inside the credential store you have a credential uh, store type where your mention is that flow or workflow okay so these are the process and inside the process you have a verification inside the verification uh, like in uh, you can define that what type of verification you want to perform okay this is the diagram of this one okay let's let me go back once more time and show you one thing mm. so if you see that this is the process our process right and we are talking about this uh, employee self service uh, this one right so this is our process and this process i'm just again repeating the few things this process have that uh, as i mentioned that verification step for your clear understanding and i just make mandatory false is that sms verification so the question and answer is verification is the uh, main thing uh, which is mandatory right and secondly we have a credential store and inside the credential store it just select that auto password generated right so let me open that and show you so here in that password reset credential store you can see that um, there are pa auto generated password and this is the type three type right and you can see uh, here are the few fields which was uh, um, mention okay what are the few fields first is that password role since this will be the hint like message that what you have to be do and here the rule okay it is mentioned that password rule okay and here uh, is that the password strength how strength your password should be all these things are mentioned here okay so this is the uh, this is the process and inside that we have a uh, type called uh, loca that type we are just talking about that where you can use the flow okay so these things will be happens when when you are actually going to reset your password let me quickly first enroll myself to enroll every user they have to click the enroll and once you click the enroll you can see sms verification we just make that uh, non mandatory so for enrollment i have that question qa verification is the question and answer verification is the mandatory that you just saw saw in that password uh, inside the process right so i have to be uh, <clears throat> fill up all this information here okay and um, this question and answer basically this is the few question which is that coming right so this question are coming from this question and answer okay so let me open this table where all your question are mentioned created you see if you want to create your own custom question you can definitely create for those those question okay so let me quickly fill those information and i'll quickly fill this and i'll just speed up my video so now you can see i just enroll my uh, enrollment process and it says that enrollment is success right so my enrollment is success right now so whenever i am going to password change my password first it will be identify and then um, it will ask me that uh, the question and once i put the question and answer it will give me uh, that success and failure okay along with that if you might be uh, notice that whenever i am filling that it asked three question okay let me go and uh, try to resolve um, try to reset my password okay notice that um, i ha have to be changed that um, i have to put my email address here click i am not a remote and then once i click the next uh, i should be able to uh, verify my uh, my account okay and now here the three question is asking me okay because it's if you go if i go here and go to the verification or maybe go, i i can go to a verification okay and inside the verification itself it's mentioned that how many question i should be able to ask at the time of verify okay and if you remember whenever i enroll that 
it asked me the three question and whenever i am verifying my account it asked me the three question okay so all these things are defined in under the verification if i open the question answer verification these things are mentioned into the verification itself you can see number of enroll is 3 number of um, reset is 3 so let me change that to that one so that you will be able to see that one question will be asked at a time instead of three question whatever i um, said okay so changing to that um, value to the one and then let me save that record so i'm putting my email address clicking that i'm not a robot and clicking the next it should ask me the one question and once i put that one question it should um, go to the reset process okay you can see now it asking me the one question because we said that the enrollment reset process will be the three question and the number reset will be the one question okay i'm putting that uh, the my question and then click the next it will go to the next step the reset process okay it is says that account is not locked click to the reset account once you click the reset account it will ask it will reset your account okay let's do that so after clicking that if i go to the flow designer and click the today's execution you will be able to see that all that flow which is executed at the time of process um, you can see this all are the flow which is called at the time of um, when we uh, run this to reset our password okay you can see these are the flow is called at the time of um, reset our password so that's how you can um, enroll your um, or that's how you can use your uh, password reset process okay also there are if you see uh, in the first module uh, as i told that in this module all are the configurable object are there right and in this above that you can see all these activity requ request raise right so i raise the request right you can see here it is present okay all these request which is raised will be present to that request um, process and then activity log will be present all this activity okay so that how you can use the password reset process if you have any question just ping me or just um, comments on my video or else you can ping me directly in my whatsapp uh, which is which will be mentioned in my description box thank you very much have a great